Seafood risotto, an all-time favourite. Now, what we need is one small onion and one celery stick, finely diced, a litre of, in this case we'll be using vegetable stock, half a glass of dry white wine, one cup of aborio rice, make sure it's aborio rice, don't try and don't use the long grain. A seafood mixture. So whatever your favorite seafood is, or prawns are a favorite obviously, you can get a mixture of flaky fish, mussels, calamari and so on. Some crushed garlic, which we'll use to cook off the seafood. Some fresh parsley, chopped. Then we'll finish the risotto off with some butter and some either grana padano cheese or pecorino. I use pecorino, I love the sharpness and the saltiness. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll partially cook the seafood and then we'll put that aside and then we'll get started on doing the risotto. Now with the risotto, it's a process, there's a technique You've got to be patient. It's going to take 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. You slowly add the stock as you go and you get, you get it to the point where the, the rice is cooked and then you finish it off with the butter and the cheese. Let's get stuck into the seafood. Some olive oil in the pan. Heat it up. garlic in low heat Food goes straight in. Toss it around. Now remember, we'll only be partially cooking this. So food does not need a lot. Okay, now it's time for the risotto. So olive oil, at least two tablespoons. It's hot. The onion and celery. Give it three, four minutes. Okay, it's been about three, four minutes. Starting to get some colour. This point we put in the rice. Now again. Keep it on the low to medium heat. We're looking to coat the rice, the oil.
another three to four minutes at this point. Okay, it's been about four to five minutes. The rice is nicely toasting. The starch is releasing. Now at this point, we add the wine. Starting to see the creaminess already. So once the wine has dried up and cooked down is when we start ladling in the vegetable stock. So technically the 15 minutes of cooking hasn't really started yet. At this point, In goes some stock. So just like we did with the wine, we wait for it to reduce. And we just continue the process for the next 15 minutes. This is the third ladle. I forgot to mention the stock needs to be warm or boiling as it goes in. So the cooking process continues. Yes. Very close. At this point, we put in the seafood. Crank the heat up a little bit. The seafood needs to cook another minute or two. A bit more liquid in. Put in the butter, 
Chase. Turn the heat off. Mix it through. Chop parsley. So for taste, So make sure you guys subscribe, comment, and I'll be bringing you some more recipes very soon. Hopefully once a week I'll, I'll be bringing out a recipe. And if you have any requests, let me know. Like this was a request from Ramil. Shout out to you. Hopefully you enjoy it when you make it. And we'll catch you guys next time.